In this lecture, you're going to learn about the three important methods which we use to define a route. The map method, the map get method, and the map post method. And we will also understand the difference between these three methods. So let's open Visual Studio and let's start with map method. So here, inside this callback function, I am going to create a route and I'm going to create that route using map method. So here we are receiving this endpoint as the parameter. So on this endpoint, we can go ahead and we can call map method. And to this map method, we need to pass two arguments. The first argument is the URL which we want to handle. Here, let's say we want to handle the home resource. So when I say slash home, this slash home will be appended to the root URL. And in this example, the root URL will be localhost colon the port number on which this ASP.NET Core application is running. Okay, now here this slash is optional. You can also remove this, but I prefer to have this slash. So I will keep it here. Then the second argument is the request delegate, the middleware function, which you want to execute whenever a user makes a request to this URL, to root URL slash home. Okay, so in order to define the middleware function, I'm going to use this arrow function syntax. All right. And this middleware function is going to receive the HTTP context object. Let's simply call it context. All right. Now, what do we want to do whenever a user makes a request to this home resource? Well, in that case, let's say we want to send some response and to send some response on this context object, we have the response object. And on that response object, we can call this method write async. So this write async method writes some content in the response body. And here we simply want to say you are in home page. Okay. And here let's also use this await keyword. And since we are using this await keyword, let's make this function async. With this, if I go ahead and if I run this application, so for that, let's click here. So here you can see we have this message page not found. That's because currently we are trying to access the root URL localhost colon the port number where the application is hosted. And for the root URL, we have not defined any routes, right? We have defined route for root URL slash home. Okay. We have defined route for this path. So after the root URL, whatever you type that is called as path here, the path is slash home and we have defined route for that slash home. So now if I go ahead and if I press enter, if I try to access root URL slash home, there in the web page, we should see this text. You are in home page because this is what we are sending in the response body from our ASP.NET Core application. Instead of the slash home, if I type any other path here, in that case, we are going to receive page not found message because we have only defined route for this slash home using the map method. Now here using the browser, we are making a get request to this path, to this slash home. But what if we make a post request? To make a post request, let's first go to Postman. Before that, let me copy this URL. Let's go to Postman. And there, here, let me paste that URL. Okay, so let me first make a get request. So when I click on the send button, in the response body, we have this message, you are in home page. And now if I go ahead and if I make a post request, and again, if I click on the send button, we are still seeing that response here. And if I go ahead and if I make another type of request, maybe a delete request, and if I click on this send button, in that case also, we are receiving the same response. So when we use this map method to define a route, in that case, this middleware function will be executed for this URL, for this path, but it will be executed for all type of HTTP methods whether we are making a get request or post request, put request, delete request, that does not matter. As long as the URL contains slash home, this middleware function will be executed. And this is the behavior of map method. Now, what if I want to execute a middleware function only for the get method and for a given URL? That is also possible. For that, we have another method called map get. So here, let me go ahead and let me create another route for that again on this endpoint. Let's go ahead and let's try to access map get. 
this map get also takes two arguments the first argument is the url so here let's say slash maybe products or slash product and the second argument is the middleware function for that let's go ahead and let's use this arrow function syntax and this middleware function is again going to receive an instance of http context let's simply call it context so this middleware function this will be only executed for this path and when the user makes a get request if the user makes a post request to this path in that case this middleware function will not get executed it will only get executed for get request and for this url for this path let's actually see that so let me go ahead and let me copy this line from here let's paste it here and here let's say you are in products page okay and let's make this function async all right let's again go ahead and let's run this application okay so here again we are in the root url if i say slash home we should see you are in home page and if i say slash product it should say you are in products page and here we are making a get request to this products page and we have defined a route for slash products and the http method is get because this map get means that this route will only execute for http get method okay so if i go to postman before that let me go ahead and let me copy this url let's go to postman now and from there let's try to make a get request first to this url to root url slash product if i click on the send button we are receiving the proper response message but if i go ahead and if i try to make a post request and if i click on this send button you see we have not received any response and here if you notice the status code is 405 method not allowed this simply means that the url which we are trying to access for that the post method is not defined there is no route defined for this url and for http post method so when we use map get method using the map get method we create a route which can handle http get methods but when we create a route using this map method that route can be handled using any http method and just like map get we have another method called map post and that map post is used to handle http post methods so on this endpoint let's go ahead and let's call map post okay and here also we need to specify the url the path here also let's say slash product and then we can define the middleware function so this middleware function will be executed whenever a post request is made to this slash product path and this middleware function is again going to receive the http context object let's simply call it context let me go ahead and let me copy this line let's paste it here and here let's say maybe a new product created because we generally send a post request to create a new resource okay and let's make this function async all right let's run this application and let's go to postman and now let's make a post request to this url so now we have defined a route for this url and for http post method so now when i click on this send button you see status code is 200 okay and in the response we are receiving a new product created but if i make a get request to the same url in that case we should receive a different response so here it says you are in products page okay so we use map post method to define a route which can handle http post method so now i hope you understand the use of map method map get method and map post method and the difference between them now what we also want is if the user types any other path in the url apart from slash home and slash product in that case we want to show the user a custom page not found message so what i'm going to do is on this app we have this run method so let's call that run method and to this run method let's pass a callback function and this callback function is basically a middleware function 
and this middleware function is a short circuit middleware function right because from within this middleware function we cannot call the next method and this middleware function is going to receive this context object so let me specify the type here so it is http context and let me go ahead and let me copy this line let's paste it here and here in the response let's send the page you are requesting for is not found okay and let's make this function a sync so now what will happen is whenever a user will type slash home in the url in that case this middleware function will be executed if the user types slash product and if he is using http get method in that case this middleware function will be executed if the user types slash products in the url and if he is using http post method in that case this middleware function will be executed and for all other routes all other urls this middleware will be executed let's actually see that so let's run this application so here you can see for this root url since we have not defined any route you can see this message the page you are requesting for is not found if i go ahead and if i say root url slash home in that case we should receive this message you are in home page if i say root url slash products in that case here we are receiving the page you are requesting for is not found because we have defined a route for slash product and not for slash products so now if i press enter we should see you are in products page and if i type any other thing apart from slash home or slash product then we should receive page not found message so if i say about here and if i press enter you see we are receiving this message the page you are requesting for is not found so the middleware function which we have defined using the run method basically this middleware function this will be executed for all other routes now why this middleware function is not executing for slash home and slash product that's because when we type slash home in the url for that we have defined a route so in that case that route handler function or you can say that middleware function and keep in mind that when we specify a middleware function while defining a route that middleware function is also called as endpoint so this middleware function here it is an endpoint so when we type slash home in the url this endpoint gets executed this middleware function gets executed and from within this middleware function we are not calling the next method right and since we are not calling the next method the next middleware in the pipeline will not be called and that's why this middleware which is next in the pipeline this is not getting called and same is the case with these two middlewares as well here also we are not calling the next function from within these middlewares so that's why the next middleware in the pipeline is not getting called but when we type something else in the url apart from slash home or slash products in that case since these patterns are not matching none of these middlewares will be called and the control will directly reach to this middleware and this middleware will be executed and this response will be returned and it will be displayed in the web page i hope it is clear all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day